in his love and grace. He sent his son, his only begotten son, into the world to die in order that you might enter the kingdom of God. So it's not that God doesn't want you to know. He wants you to know. That's why he gave you the Bible. That's why he gave us his word. And that's why he asked this question. Know ye not that the unrighteous, the ungodly, those in their sin, those separated from God by their iniquities, by their lawless deeds, by their departure from God, uh, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So you see, you got to get right. you got to get a righteousness, not yours, because your righteousness, religious or otherwise, is full of holes. It's shot to pieces. It's no good. It's like filthy rags, says God. So you need another righteousness. The righteousness of God revealed in the gospel. God's Son, Jesus Christ. That's how you get righteous. That's how you get right with God. Through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. You receive the righteousness of God. It's a gift from God. But then, of course, some people, you know, some people, some religious people, you know, they think that, you know, you can be religious and wicked. You can be a manslayer, you can be a murderer, you can be a slaughterer of your fellow man and still, still enter God's kingdom, you know, and still be right with God. You can't be wicked and religious, you know. Well, you'd expect religious people to be good people, but that's not always the case. I mean, it's quite common to find that religious people are the most wicked people, unclean dirty, impure in their hearts, defiled, unclean, filthy, lustful thoughts, murderous thoughts, you know? And uh, you know, they, they're so religious, wear religious clothes and all the rest of it, you know? But they're wicked, wicked inside of their hearts. They're unrighteous, ungodly, unholy. God is holy and God will have nothing to do with anything that is unclean, defiled. You got to be made clean, you got to be made right, you got to be made righteous by the Son of God. That's what He came for. He is the righteousness of God. So know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So long as you remain in that state, as long as you remain, you know, unclean, as long as you remain defiled, as long as you remain in your wickedness, religious and otherwise, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. You shall not, says God. There's only one way you can enter the kingdom of God. Through the Son of God, Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh, who came to live and die, to live the life you ought to be living, and to die the death that's due to you, he came to live and die and rise again from the dead in order that you might be righteous, declared righteous, that is, by God himself. So know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, says God. Don't deceive yourself. The heart is deceitful above all things. You deceive yourself, I'm okay, I'm religious, I'm respectable, you know. Deceive yourselves with all kinds, all manner of things. Some people deceive themselves with evolution. Some people with false religion. Be not deceived, says God, neither fornicators, sex outside of marriage, that is. Not to... Uh, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's the boys that give themselves to other men for toys, the effeminate. Not abusers of themselves with mankind, sodomites and lesbians, that is. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. 
I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. Okay. Have a good day, sir. So like I say, friends, it's the gospel you need. It's Jesus that you need because he alone can save you from these iniquities, these sins. And believe me, that list is by no means. That list is not exhaustive. The commandment says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Every form, every form of sexual sin that covers no one to man or woman. Born into this world. What a day, what a generation I see is this. My dear friends who needs to hear the commandments of God. The commandment of God. Thou shalt not commit adultery in an adulterous and wicked generation such as this. What does the commandment teach us? Thou shalt not commit adultery. That all uncleanness, uncleanness of thought, the lusts of the mind, the lusting after the opposite sex. Jesus says in the gospel, he says that you look upon a woman to lust after her, you've already committed adultery in your heart. You bother me. You bother me. Go away. Go away. So like I say, friends, adultery, adultery. Go wash your filthy mouth out. I'm talking to you, cussing and swearing at me. Get out of it. Get out of it. I don't care what you have. Go and wash your filthy mouth out. Your filthy mouth. Wash it out, sir. You got any soap in the market here? You got a man needs his mouth cleaning out. Yeah? And I'll, hey, I'll bet, hey, and I'll bet he's religious as well. Religious, wicked people, eh? Yeah? They curse and swear one breath. Yeah, and tell you that they, uh, you know, tell you that they're uh, religious in the next breath, you know. They shall not commit adultery. Jesus says you lust after a woman in your heart. You've already done the deed. You've committed adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah, uncleanness, forbidding, uncleanness, uncleanness of mind, uncleanness of thought, uncleanness of word, uncleanness of word. God is holy and God will not let holy, filthy mouths or filthy hearts into his presence. God is holy. There's only one way you can be reconciled to God and that's through Hello. His Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what do you want? I'm going to pop your mic out in a second. What? I don't care. Who, I don't care if they're from the Pope. Yeah, mate, I'm going to pop your Go away. Go away. Go away. We get freedom of speech in this country. This is not Saudi Arabia. Yeah? Why are you being racist for you? Okay. Why are you being racist now? Why are you being racist? Shut up. Oh, what, bro? Shut up. Hey. You call the police because if you do it, I'll... If he carries on, I'll call the police. What is that, man? Call them? Call them, bro? Okay. So like you say, friends, you know, it's the content, you know. It's the content, it's not the noise. It's the content, friends. They don't, they hate, they hate the gospel, they hate God, but you get to see, you see why God is angry with the wicked every day. They hate God and they hate their neighbor, you know. You can be standing here blasting out music and it wouldn't bother them, it wouldn't trouble them. It's the gospel, they hate the gospel. They hate God, they hate God's son. They hate holiness, they hate righteousness. They hate the way back to God his son Jesus Christ, God in his love, sends his servants onto the streets to proclaim the gospel to you in order that you might be saved, that you might be rescued, that you might be washed, and that you might be made clean. And what do you get? Yeah? God expresses his love. Yeah? And what do you get? Nothing but hatred. Hatred out of them. Friends, Jesus can take that hatred away. Jesus can take that anger out of your heart. God can take that wickedness. God can take that uncleanness, that lusting after the opposite sex, that lusting in your heart, 
that uncleanness that keeps you from God and keeps you from the kingdom of God. Friends, Jesus can take it away. Jesus can wash your heart and make it clean. Jesus can give you new life. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world that you might be reconciled to his death, his dying and rising from the dead. It's Jesus that you need, not religion. Religion don't cut it. Religion don't change you. Look at you. Plenty of religious people here today. Has it changed your heart? Has it taken the impurity out of your heart? Has it made you clean? Has it taken away the lustful thoughts out of your heart? Has it made you holy? Has it made you righteous? Has it made you clean? Friends, religion doesn't do that. Religion's about what you do. Religious people are always telling you to do stuff, you know? Do this, do that, do the other, and you'll be okay. You'll be right with God and right with us as long as you do what they tell you. The Gospel, God, in the Gospel says that you cannot be saved. Nobody can be saved by their doing. Anything you do, anything that you would present to God is unacceptable because it's tainted with sin, it's defiled, it's unclean. There is only one way by which a man or woman can get right with God, be reconciled to God, and that's through His Son, Jesus Christ. His dying on the cross, His living the life you ought to live, but have not and cannot. And by His dying the death that you ought to have died, children too, yeah, men, women and children, that they can be saved and right with God, fit for heaven when they die, when they breathe their last, because, you know, you Paddy, you're going to breathe your last one day, you're going to go out of this world, you know, and you're going to stand before God, and you're going to have to give it a count in that day, yeah. for your sin, for your sin, for your sin, for sin. No, 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 that's not enough. That doesn't save you, that doesn't reconcile you. I've got a complaint officer. That man damaged, up, that man damaged my equipment. Who oh. are trying to? Yeah. Oh. And, I, and, I, and I want uh, and I want him to deal with I want him to deal with How come there's so many police? How are you going? Will you come with me, please, man, like these? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm up for a bag of member and it's a hundred leaves. Well, I'm not, I didn't decide. When are you changing? When are you going to change? No, I've never listened. I'll stop the shop. 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 And this is my little bit of a back as well. You got it, yeah? Alarm at this guy. All good, I believe. She put the human lady shouts and stuck it down our throats. What does that say, dear? A revolution is a what? A lie? A genesis. A genesis is abandoned. They just feel Collins in that. Yeah, yeah. Huh? I wasn't. I got called back. What? I have a I said, no, no, I did, I did. 
Stop getting cheeky with the nice officers. There's no place for this. We've been to court with this a dozen, a dozen times and more. Yeah. And you've had your butts, you've had your butts kicked. I don't know how many times. Yes. 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 Yeah. I see a problem. I see a problem. Yes, it is. You do not. You do not. Okay, but well you don't know what. You don't know the law. You don't know the law. No, it's not. No, it's not. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. Well, whether you disagree or not, I, you know, I've never come on the level with you, shall we? Maybe go down from this thing first. It's probably quite unsafe. Come on the level, shall we? Oh, here, one level, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Can you ask him where he got the jeans from? Because I really need it, because I want to get up and see some Rihanna's out. I want to see Rihanna's out. Yeah, right, yeah. Did you want to go on the other one? I have. We did multiple times when you were with another PC. When you were alone. I can see them. Sorry.
No, I want to talk. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. Am I? What are you going to do? You're going to arrest me? What are you going to do? Free Church of Scotland. Sorry? The Free Church of Scotland. And what's your date of birth, sir? 29544. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Tell me about the racial aggravation. Tell me about the 
Don't worry about nobody, this way. Nobody worries about you preaching or doing whatever you want to do. I don't believe you. the word of God out to everyone, but abusing people. I don't I believe. I, 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 yeah, and racially abusing them is I don't, not acceptable. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. So tell me, What's your tell, me what for, tell me what form the, the, the racial abuse took. Sorry? Tell me the form of the racial abuse. Yeah, the racial abuse. Oh, tell me about it. Go back to your own tell country. Tell me about it. And I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Well, okay, I said, I'm I, when, he, those when, he swore, when he swore at me, right. I told him to wash his mouth out. Yeah? I, those are the allegations that have been made. Yeah. When you get into custody, you can say that during your interview, can't you? And it'll be work, your word against his. Apparently, you've got evidence of it on you anyway. Yeah, I have, yeah. Documented on my. Yeah. That's right. My I have. Worn camera. I have. What's your address, sir? 30 30. Yeah. Wayne Drive, W.